Okay, this is question number four. Uh, I actually caught myself on a mistake on this one, and rather than scratch it out and take time on the video making you watch me make the mistake, I, uh, I'm going to rework it. So this was kind of not cold. I had not finished part A when I caught myself on a mistake. So I want to go ahead and rework it from the beginning here. Um, this is the 2023 exam release for FRQs number four. Again, I haven't looked at these before this morning. So uh, I looked, did the first three yesterday, but did not look further than that. So this is cold kind of, except for the mistake that I caught. This is the 2023. Let's just video up here. 2023 AP stat FRQs and this is number four and we'll start by reading the question because it's always important to read through the question and figure out exactly what's going on medical researcher completed a study comparing an omega-3 fatty acid supplement to a placebo in the treatment of irritability in patients with a certain medical condition 19 patients with a medical condition volunteered to participate in the study the study was conducted using the following weekly schedule. Week one, each patient took a randomly assigned treatment, omega-3 supplement or placebo. Patients did not take either the omega-3 supplement or the placebo. In week two, this was necessary to reduce the possibility of any carryover effects from the assigned treatment taken during week one. And in week three, each patient took the treatment, the omega-3 supplement or placebo that they did not take during week one. At the end of week one and week three, each parent's irritability was given a score of 0 to 10, with 0 representing no irritability and 10 representing the highest level of irritability. For each patient, two irritability scores and the difference in their scores, placebo minus omega-3, were recorded and the results are summarized in the box plots, table and box plots. So we're given all of the, the statistics here and we're given box plots for the placebo measurements box plots for the omega-3 measurements and box plots for the difference placebo minus omega-3. So since we did placebo minus omega-3 measurements in each patient and took a difference, we have a mean difference from a match pairs design. The researcher claims the omega-3 supplement will decrease the mean irritability score of all patients with a medical condition similar to the volunteers who participate in the study is there convincing statistical evidence to support the researcher's claim at a significance level of alpha equals 0.05? Complete the appropriate inference procedure to support your answer. Okay. Since we have a mean different situation and match pair design, we're going to name the test. And this is going to be a one sample t test. for a difference of means. <clears throat> We're going to check the conditions that allow us to make the test. We did have random assignment to treatment groups in the first week. That satisfies our random assignment. And since we don't have n equal 30 and we're not sure that the distribution of irritability scores would be normally distributed, we have to look at the plot that we have. And the box plot shows no signs. I'm looking at the box plot for the differences now. of skewness or outliers. So no obvious deviation from normal. That should satisfy our conditions. Next, we're going to run our hypothesis. Our H naught in this case will be that the mean difference, and I'll define that in a minute, is going to be, uh, let's go ahead and define it now. 
the mean difference is going to be the mean of the placebo minus the mean of the omega-3 treatment. So that is going to be P equals placebo and O equals omega-3 treatment. So the mean difference, we expect that to be greater than zero. So we're going to make the null hypothesis the mean difference equals mean of the omega-3, equals zero, sorry. And the alternate hypothesis is the mean difference is greater than zero because the placebo should be more irritability than the omega-3 treatment if the researcher is correct. Next, we'll perform our calculations for this test. I'm going to remind myself that my alpha is equal to 0 0.05. Then I'm going to go to the calculator. And I'm going to enter in the statistics. Here we have, we're using the difference values again. So I'm going to input for the mean 1.789. Oops, sorry, mean not a zero. X bar, 1.789. And the standard deviation is 2.45. N is 19. And I'm going to put this in the direction of my alternate hypothesis so that, oops, Mu of the difference is greater than mu naught zero in this case. And then we're going to calculate. And I'm going to write down what's on here. Uh, starting with my degrees of freedom. It's not on here, but the degrees of freedom n minus one or eighteen. And let's say I'm going to put my T-score, my critical value, 3.138. And I'm going to put my P-value. I always write P-value here because this is different than so many P's in this course. 0 0.0028. Uh, everything else we've already got. It's not tame, standard deviation, we've already we entered everything else. All right, so that should suffice for what we need to put here. And now my conclusion. And I'm going to conclude that since 0 0.0028, my p-value, is less than 0 0.05, my alpha, we reject the null hypothesis. And conclude, there is convincing statistical evidence that the omega-3 supplement reduces irritability in patients with the medical condition like those in the study. And that should conclude number four. I didn't see a part A on that. And so the next one's part, or problem five. So that is my solution to FRQ number four on the 2023 exam. Thanks for watching.